Hey y'all, what's up? What's going on? So I want to address something because I seen a comment on YouTube and someone it happened to be a woman put up and said that a male is a degenerate female. Now I don't know where y'all getting this shit from real talk, but y'all need to stop that because that is nothing more than self gratification. Unless you can go prove scientifically speaking that a male is technically a female, then you may have an argument. But the reason why that many people will say things like this is because of the fact that the baby is inside of the mother's womb. Okay? And the mother carries the X chromosome. But technically speaking, you don't know the gender of the child because the gender is unknown at that moment. The gender of the child doesn't kick in till maybe when the mother's around like three or four months into a pregnancy. Maybe four months into a pregnancy. But prior to that, the gender of the child is unknown because the reproductive area is not developed. So you cannot sit here and automatically say some shit like the man is a degenerate female. And then I heard people say that women can give birth to a child without men interference or at one point in time women gave birth to kids without having intercourse and that is false in itself unless you can scientifically prove that it is possible for a woman to conceive a child without a man if you can go did some scientific evidence not no biblical scripture not no story about the virgin mary because we all know that that's a bunch of mythology. But actual scientific facts to prove that a woman can give birth to a child or have children without a man. Then you may have an argument. But until then, stop that because at the end of the day, that's nothing more than self-gratification. It's all about making one feel good. It's no different than these individuals going right here talking about women come from the rib of a man. And people actually believe that women came from a rib of a man. And they're not thinking outside of the box. You got people that actually walk around here believing that. That is self-gratification. Let's stop that. And I know exactly who's been teaching that BS. To these women. And this person is pretty popular in the YouTube community. And I'm not just talking about the male, but this individual happened to be a female who happened to be popular. But I want to say this. Stop misleading people. Stop getting these women hopes up. But then again, it's the people that's entertaining certain folks that will say things because they know how to romanticize and make people feel good about themselves and not give them the actual facts. Let's just go back to this. The chicken and egg argument. Which one came first, the chicken or the egg? We don't know because the chicken cannot exist without the egg and the egg cannot exist without the chicken. So therefore, therefore the man cannot exist without the woman and the woman cannot exist without the man. So we don't know who came first, okay? We just know that both male and female been around for a long period of time. But again, you got to start with this self-gratification. Because it's detrimental. And it's setting people back. And as women, we have been so damaged by this patriarchal society to the point that we got to make up some stuff like this just to feel good about ourselves. And it's really sad. We got to walk around here, listen to folks talk about parthenogenesis and all of that. And the concept of parthenogenesis, go back to what I was saying before, a woman having children without men. Mean that she can get pregnant without a man. That That's what parthenogenesis is. And... That in itself is false. So now we got to make up something just so we can feel good. Just so we can put ourselves on the pedestal. You got to stop that. 
There's no need to make up lies. I mean, we are who we are as women. And men are who they are as men. But the self-gratification thing ain't going to get you nowhere. Again, this self-gratification is not going to get you anywhere. Start with this pseudoscientific knowledge. Talking about the male is a degenerate female. The male is a male. Okay? That does not make him a degenerate female. That He's a male. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with the shenanigan. Stop making up stuff. That's why I don't go along with this black woman is God, black man is God, and all of that. Because it's a bunch of self-gratification. How about this nature is God? Nature is God. That's what we need to focus on. How about that? But if you want to say that you God, you might as well speak on nature first before you speak on yourself. Because you can't say that you are God without nature. Because nature is the reason why you will be able to be considered as what you call the God and goddesses. You wouldn't be the God and goddesses if it wasn't for nature. Let's keep it real. But seriously, this pseudoscientific knowledge nonsense got our people messed up, got us going backwards. We got to stop that. I mean, certain things you can use some form of anthropomorphic anthropomorphism, right? You can use some form of personification to explain scientific knowledge. You know what I'm saying? To have a better understanding, right? Certain things you can do. You know what I mean? But to just totally make up a bunch of pseudo nonsense that doesn't line up with the scientific knowledge in itself or the biology in itself is pretty problematic. That's very problematic. Because now that creates the problem. It creates an ego issue. It shows ego starvation. That's what it shows. Ego starvation. So again, stop with all this pseudo scientific knowledge, man. This you gotta cut it out, man. Cut it out. Stop. And that's all I wanted to say. <laughs>